signal to noise ratio, often written as this or like this, is originally a science and engineering terminology. It's a measure of signal strength relative to background noise, and today this concept is often used in educational field as well. And when we talk about signal and noise in education, they can mean a variety of things. When we talk about use of speech for instruction, signal is the message of the speech we are trying to communicate, and noise literally means all the noise that's interfering with the speech communication. Listen to this example. This is a perfect example of noise interfering with the communication of the message. <laughs> Signal to noise ratio also applies to visual aids as well. This PowerPoint slide has too many distractions. Obviously, this is supposed to be about the new food pyramid, which is actually there, but there are too many other things that have nothing to do with the food pyramid. The background design, all the clip arts, the arrow, and even the text, they don't pertain to the core message of this slide at all. So they are all noise in this case. The question is then, what can we do about it? The most important advice I can give you is this. Pare down to the essentials. What is it that you are really trying to communicate? Be bold. Don't be afraid to throw stuff out. Less is better as long as you are leaving the essentials in. So get rid of decorations and cosmetics. Get rid of what is blocking the essentials. Remove the noise and let the music be heard.